Have you ever wished that you could follow the money, track the money, figure out where the money is going, what the money is doing, figure out what the big shots, the rich people, the people that know things that we don't, or just other investors, what they're doing with their money in the crypto world? Well, now you can, and the answer is DeFi Llama, one of the best tools in all of crypto. DeFi Llama has been around for a while now, but I know there's still a lot of different crypto investors out there that still don't know about it or don't know how to properly use it. So in this video, I'm going to go over exactly how I use this tool to figure out where the money is going and then properly adjust my asset allocation to make the most money. Now let's get into it. So what the heck is DeFi Llama? Well, believe it or not, guys, it tracks DeFi. So it tracks everything in DeFi from NFTs to different DEXs to different assets, lending protocols, insurance, indexes. It tracks so many different things and it is an amazing tool and the information it gives is extremely valuable in helping you figure out where the money is going and how you should reallocate your money. The coolest thing about DeFi Llama is that it tracks every single blockchain there is. It doesn't just track Ethereum, it tracks Phantom, Terra, BSC. It literally tracks every single one. And whenever a new project is added, they pretty much add it almost instantly on here. I mean, this tool is just insane. Now, DeFi Llama might be an awesome tool, but a tool is only as good as its user jot me down as a uh, philosophist or something like that. But I'm about to show you guys exactly how I use this tool and how by using this tool, I have discovered that Phantom DeFi is extremely undervalued and that there is a huge, huge, huge opportunity right now. So how do I use this tool? Well, the first thing you guys have to know is TVL. TVL stands for total value locked. It's basically the sum of money that is going into some sort of DeFi project, such as a farming pool, or maybe this is money that is being borrowed. Maybe it's money being lended, or maybe it is money in NFTs. But essentially to, to encompass all of it, it's just the amount of value that is being locked in a DeFi project. As you can see here, guys, DeFi has really been blowing up in this past year. It really only started this past year, and I was lucky enough to get in early uh, and really start to figuring this stuff out. But look at this, guys. In about uh, 2020, April of 2020, we were sitting at only $600 million worth of TVL in the entire crypto market. Not even a year and a half later, we are now sitting at a 223 billion overall market cap when it comes to DeFi. What's insane is the market cap of the entire crypto industry as a whole is 1.6 trillion, and this is included in that number. As more and more people start to understand how DeFi works and get into all these different wallets and, and DeFi exchanges, like this number is only going to get bigger. There's so many awesome opportunities in the world of DeFi, such as farming and getting 19.5% uh, risk free on anchor and and taking out cash loans on your crypto without selling it and paying taxes like there's so many different things but the overall trend as you can see guys is just increasing as more and more people figure this stuff out one thing that is super cool about DeFi llama is that i don't just have to look at ethereum i can look at different ecosystems for example i can click on phantom and now i can see the total value locked for phantom and look guys like this has been going super crazy and what's really cool about it is i can look at all their different projects so you have spooky swap and Geist and Spirit Swap, which is something I'm very bullish on. And you can see their day change, their seven day change, their one month change. But most importantly, you see how much value is being locked in them and their market cap compared to that value. Now, I had a uh, pretty crazy realization, especially about Phantom, and I'm, uh, I'm about to break this down to you guys and just show you how to use this tool. Over here, you can click on chains and you will pull up a comparison of all the different chains out there. So right now, Ethereum is taking up 60% of all of DeFi at a 120 billion TVL. And you can kind of compare here, we have Terra Luna, which is the second largest at about 8%. We have Binance Smart Chain at 12 uh, at 6%, about 12 billion TVL. And then for the TVL of Phantom, which is the fourth largest, we have 5.5% or 11 billion. We can also look over here, guys, in the beginning, Beginning, DeFi was primarily Ethereum when it first started in 2020, August of 2020. And look at this, Ethereum had a 95% dominance and over time, Ethereum's dominance has gone lower and lower as more projects are launching on different blockchains that are a lot more efficient and cheaper to use. I want you guys to pay close attention to Phantom here. Right now, Phantom is not even on the list right now. Let's go to about June, and we see Phantom is probably like 13 spots down at only 0.14%. So we keep going down this list, and we keep going down this list, and we keep going down this list, and we get to today, January 26, and Phantom is now the one, two, three, four, five, fifth largest at 5.48%, and has overtaken countless other blockchains. So how do I dissect this information? 
what, what does this mean? Because we can obviously see a lot of money has been moving into Phantom and Phantom DeFi. But has that necessarily been correlating with price? And that's the question I ask myself when using this tool. And, th and this is the crazy thing. Binance Smart Chain. And it's actually showing that Phantom is uh, number four right now, which is crazy, instead of uh, number five. Binance, Binance Smart Chain. They have 294 different protocols. 12.2 billion TVL. And the market cap to TVL is 5.2. That means that the total market cap of all Binance, of these 300 projects basically is about five times larger than the TVL, so about 60 billion. Now, when I look at Phantom, Phantom only has 1 billion less and is 10 times lower market cap with their projects when compared to the TVL. And look at the rest of the list, guys. Avalanche, 2. Solana, 3.6. 2.4, 1.4, 5.5, 1.9, 2.1, 3.4, 23.15,000. 1.9586. 1 Do I have to keep going to show you guys that the total value of a Phantom is not correlating with the price of projects in Phantom? And I'm, I'm about to show you guys even more. Look at this, guys. The largest decentralized exchange on Binance Smart Chain is none other than Cake. And by the way, Binance Smart Chain has twice as many projects as Phantom does, and a lot more decentralized exchanges. It is sitting at a 1.96 billion market cap, pretty much 2 billion. The largest exchange on Phantom is Spooky Swap with only 166 million market cap. I can also pull up Spirit Swap, which I'm actually more bullish on. Spirit Swap is only 15 cents at a 46 million market cap. And Spirit Swap, just so you guys are aware, was 60 cents at one point. It had hit 60 cents in October of this past year, pretty much November. To kind of wrap up my point there, I was able to use DeFi Llama. I was able to see where the TVL or where the money was flowing. I was able to see that Phantom in particular was getting a lot more TVL and beating a lot of other blockchains as far as how much liquidity was being added to it. I then can look at their projects and I can see their market cap compared to their TVL. And I can compare that to all of these other different blockchains out there. And in that comparison, you realize, oh my gosh, Phantom DeFi projects are severely undervalued when compared to every single other blockchain out there when we're talking about their TVL to market cap. Obviously, DeFi Llama is super important to be able to track where the money is going. If you can follow the money and if you can find situations like Phantom, then you can reposition your assets and capitalize on that momentum or when things are undervalued. Now, the cool thing is it's not just with DeFi projects such as decentralized exchanges, but it's also with NFTs. You can can actually click this NFT button up here. Similar to the decentralized exchanges and other projects, you can see the total volume being added. Now, what's really crazy here, guys, is just look at this. So in 2021, which was about this time of last year, we only had about $300,000 daily. And this is actually when I first started getting into NFTs. I wish I wish I had the mindset I did now about them. But yes, look how, look how low the volume was. And then now we're looking at about $88 million of volume. And that wasn't even at the peak. At the peak, we were doing hundreds of millions of volume uh, per day in NFTs. Now, what's really cool about this is, and I talk about it all the time in my channel, like we're just at the beginning of DeFi and we're just at the beginning of NFTs. Like this 16.71 billion is absolutely nothing when compared to uh, the overall market trend that we're going to have over the next several years, especially as more people get over this learning curve of DeFi in general. This is also a really helpful tool down here. You can see all of these different projects that are uh, uh, on these different blockchains like you can separate them i want to show you guys this though this is really cool so if you're new to my channel i do a lot of videos on uh cnfts or cardano nfts or even solana nfts i'm going to start making a lot of videos on that so if you're interested in that stuff make sure you subscribe and you and you like this video but look at this 97.32 percent of all volume is going into ethereum nfts where you have to spend 150 dollars on a transaction this three percent makes up every single other blockchain that i just showed you guys so you know how ethereum was uh had 90 95% of the overall volume going into it. And now it's about 60%. Uh, 
this is the same situation right now where 97% of all the volume is in Ethereum NFTs. So just wait until these other blockchains blow up. And if you're interested in Cardano NFTs and these other blockchain NFTs like Solana, make sure you follow. But look how small these other blockchain NFT marketplaces are. This is 2.6 million for volume for Cardano. Like this isn't accurate at all. It just so happens to be that Cardano is uh, super bloated right now, guys, uh, super bloated. And this is a little inaccurate for Solana too. I think the, the volume is a little bit higher. It's not really showing the everyday volume. So this tool isn't perfect. But one thing that is true is like Ethereum is over 96, 97% of all of the NFT volume. And this once again is just showing me like there are going to be major changes over the next several years. And these other NFT ecosystems are gonna blow up. To sum it up guys, like DeFi Llama is an awesome tool. You can really pay attention to what's growing and what's blowing up in the total volume going into these different ecosystems and different decentralized finance. And you can really realize that there are some key opportunities such as Phantom right now. So if you are, uh, if you see the same data that I'm seeing, uh, what would I do? Uh, I'm putting a ton of money into Spirit Swap right now. I actually just bought a ton of Spirit Swap before I made this video because I think it's criminally undervalued. And as you see guys, like the data is showing that Phantom projects are undervalued right now and we're getting a lot of money going into Phantom and it's not necessarily correlating with price. So I think Phantom's gonna move up a lot. I think Spirit Swap and Spooky Swap are going to move up a lot as far as those other decentralized exchanges on Phantom. And the other thing is too, I mean, the whole reason I'm making so many videos about uh, Cardano NFTs and Solana NFTs, the data doesn't lie. 97% is on Ethereum right now. Uh, it used to be 95% as far as their DeFi and now it's 60, 65%, not even a year later. So we're, we're, we're gonna start seeing this pop off um, and, and you guys are gonna be like, holy crap, like this this guy was spot on when it when it came to, to this specific thing. And that's why I'm putting so much energy and time to focusing on that stuff. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video and like this sort of content, make sure you like, subscribe, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.